Hey guys, um, I wasn't planning on putting out a video today, but I saw something on Reddit that really just, uh, it bothers me and I have to share it and I have to respond to it. Um, a user on Reddit posted today of a recording that they made in their high school classroom. The class is called World Views and is a mandatory class. Uh, they go to a Christian high school, I assume somewhere down in the southern states of the United States. And uh, just have a listen, it's, it's ridiculous. People out there will say I was born this way. The truth is, most research is going to show, uh, by the way, both sides, most research is going to show it's a choice. It's, it's something that you choose to do. It's a learned behavior. Um, and, and then he gives several, several other things there. Uh, by the way, I like this one here. And, and this is one reason we're against homosexuals being allowed to have children. And so how do they have children? Well, they can adopt. Okay. Why would that be an issue? Because more than likely, if homosexuals have children, they're going to have such an influence on that life, that child will also become... Now, do they have to? And the answer is no. But will they probably become the influence? And then the idea of homosexuals never recruit. Um, obviously, you can't continue a homosexual lifestyle if you don't recruit people to become homosexuals with you. Because if we look at the percentages, you know, so, so they do recruit. You're saying, well, how do they recruit? Not that you're targeted necessarily, but if you're in a, a large city and you're frequenting a place all the time and there's a homosexual agenda there, uh, they may watch your behaviors and your attitudes and your spirits and they may say, hey, he's more like one of us than he is the other side. And they may begin to try to recruit you into that lifestyle. You know? So you have to be careful with things like that. Okay, so what bothers me the most about this is the simple fact that this is a teacher, someone in a trusted position who, I mean, I think back to my high school teachers, I took what they said as, you know, truth. I, I expected them to teach me true facts and values and what this guy is teaching these kids is just ridiculous. So let me take his points and break them down one by one. So first off, this teacher is saying that most research shows that homosexuality is a choice. And he notes both sides, and I think what he's trying to imply there is that there are two sides to somehow this argument, and maybe he's talking like liberal versus conservative, or, or right versus left. I don't know what the both sides are, but in either case, he's completely wrong. The research does not show that homosexuality is a choice. In fact, research shows that homosexuality has to do something with genetics. It's really not determined, but what is determined is that it's not just a simple choice. So I think one of the most obvious ways that you can really express that homosexuality is not a simple choice is by the simple fact that humans are not the only species in nature that have demonstrated homosexual behaviors. If it were limited to humans, I could see more weight behind the argument that it is a choice. Lions, chimpanzees, bison, dolphin, and more than 130 species of birds have been identified uh, expressing homosexuality behavior. In fact, there have been documented cases of mallard ducks forming homosexual life pairs uh, for the rest of their lives. They partner up uh, to male ducks. While obviously the evolutionary purpose behind this is unclear, the simple fact that animals in nature behave just the same way and form homosexual bonds shows that it's not a human construct and it's not a simple choice. So then this teacher goes on to <laughs> explain that homosexuals shouldn't be parents and shouldn't raise kids because somehow their children are probably going to become homosexual themselves. This notion is equally as absurd. I'm sure that there are viewers watching this video right now who are raised by gay parents, and I'm sure that there are hundreds and hundreds more out there that have turned out to be perfectly fine, acceptable members of society. The fact, the notion that gay parents are going to create gay children is ridiculous. My parents didn't turn me gay, just like I wouldn't turn a child that I raised gay. It's, it's this concept is just ridiculous. You know, parents should be there to love and support their children and uh, encourage them to be themselves and not try and force them into these molds and, and expectations. A 2013 study published in the journal Pediatrics states, Extensive data available for more than 30 years of research reveal that children raised by gay and lesbian parents have demonstrated resilience with regard to social, psychological, and sexual health despite economic and legal disparities and social stigma. Note that those problems are constructed by the homophobes and not by the gay parents. Many studies have demonstrated 
that children's well-being is affected much more by their relationships with their parents, their parents' sense of competence and security, and the presence of social and economic support for the family than by gender or the sexual orientation of the parents. Lack of opportunity for same-sex couples to marry adds to family stress, which affects the health and welfare of all household members. So then he goes on to say that you can't continue this homosexual lifestyle if you can't recruit others to become homosexual with you. This being a Christian school, I think he's getting his, his topics confused because it sounds more like he's talking about religion than he is about homosexuality. He gives this weird example about being in a big city and frequenting a place with a homosexual agenda. What is a homosexual agenda and why are they only found in big cities? He then further goes on to play on the students' insecurities by saying that these homosexuals will look at you and say, hmm, he's more like us than he is the other side, and therefore we need to recruit him. Obviously that is a direct attack on any insecurities that these students might have, uh, thinking that if they express any kind of femininity or any kind of perceived gay behavior or action, or as he likes to say, behaviors, attitudes, and spirits, they will be recruited into this dark underworld of sin. I, I, I just, this just bothers me. The fact that this is being taught to high school kids. The person who posted this on Reddit has left additional comments stating that uh, this is the mentality of the school. This is something that has been drilled into their heads from a very young age. It is repeated over and over and over again. This specific example is in a high school classroom, but they have said that they have seen this in elementary school and middle school, and uh, being LGBT themselves, this is incredibly hard for them, and I sympathize hugely with people who are stuck in this situation, surrounded by these kind of people with this mentality. Um, Guys, what do you think about this? I mean, to me, it's it's kind of eye-opening. I've known what's been happening and what's being said out there, but I've never actually heard straight from the source, straight what's being said in these classrooms, these classrooms by teachers, people in authority positions. Um, let me know what you think. Uh, I just had to share this with you. Thanks for watching.